Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? From what we have here, we can take 5 raised to power 6 to left hand side, and we have x minus 3, 4 raised to power 6 minus 5 raised to power 6, then equals to 0 from here. That is, yeah, we can as well write this as x minus 3, 4 raised to power 3, then 4 raised to power 2. As 2 times 3 give us 6, and also minus 5 raised to power 3, then raised to power 2, which is equal to 0 here. And this follows from difference of 2 squares. When we have a squared minus b squared, the same thing as a plus b into bracket, then open bracket a minus b, which implies what we have here, a is standing as x minus 3, 4 raised to power 3, and b standing as 5 raised to power 3. That is, yeah, this becomes x minus 3, 4 raised to power 3, plus 5 raised to power 3, into brackets, and also open brackets, x minus 3, 4 raised to power 3, minus 5 raised to power 3, Close bracket, then equals to zero from here. Then, yeah, we have two possible cases now. That is, x minus three, or raised to power three, plus five raised to power three, equals to zero. Or we have x minus three, or raised to power three, minus five raised to power three, equals to zero from here. Then solving from the first case here, this follows when we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3, which is the same thing as a plus b into bracket, then open bracket, a square minus a b plus b square. That is, here, yeah, this follows this and becomes x minus 3 plus 5 into bracket, then open bracket, x minus 3 square minus 5 times x minus 3 then plus 5 square close brackets then equals to 0 from here that is the same thing as x plus 2 here into brackets and open bracket expansion here gives us x square minus 6 x plus 9 and minus 5 open this bracket this becomes minus 5 x plus 15, then plus 5 squared, that's 25, plus bracket, equals to 0 from here. Then, here the same thing as x plus 2, into brackets, then open brackets, here we have x square, minus 6x minus 5x, as minus 11x, then we have 15 plus 25, that gives us 40, plus 9, that becomes 49, then close bracket, which is equal to 0 here. Which implies we have two possible cases as well. x plus 2 equals to 0. Or we have x squared minus 11x plus 49 equals to 0 here. That is, solving on this side, we have x equals to minus 2 which is a real solution here. And here we have a quadratic equation, where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 11, and c equals to 49. And apply the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And here, this becomes x equals to minus minus 11 plus or minus square root of minus 11 squared minus 4 times 1 times 49 then all over 2 times 1 that is here we have x equals to minus times minus is plus that is we have 11 plus or minus square root of minus 11 squared that's 121 and minus 4 times 1 times 49, 196, then all over 2 here, 
which implies this gives us x equals to 11 plus or minus square root of 121 minus 186 we have minus 75 here then all over 2 and also we can write this as x equals to 11 plus or minus square root of 25 times 3 times minus 1 over 2 that is here when we separate this root 25 that's 5 take it out and we have x equals to 11 plus or minus 5 then we have root 3 root minus 1 that's i and over 2 so here we have two complex solutions here then solving from the second case here this also follows when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3 which is equals to a minus b into bracket and open bracket a square plus a b plus b square that is here this follows this and becomes x minus 3 minus 5 into brackets the open bracket x minus 3 square plus 5 times x minus 3 plus 5 square close bracket which is equal to 0 here that is yeah this becomes x minus 8 into brackets the open bracket expansion here gives us x square minus 6x plus 9 then 5 open this bracket we have plus 5x minus 15 then plus 5 squared 25 plus bracket then equals to 0 here that is the same thing as x minus 8 into bracket the open bracket here we have x squared minus 6x plus 5x equals minus x and here minus 15 plus 25 that's 10 then plus 9 that gives us plus 19 plus brackets then equals to 0 here and also here we have two possible cases as this x minus 8 equals to 0 or we have x squared minus x plus 19 equals to 0 which implies on this side we have x equals to 8 which is a real solution here and from here we have the quadratic equation we are equals to 1 b equals to minus 1 and c equals to 19 and also applying the quadratic formula here this becomes x equals to minus minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square and minus 4 times 1 times 19 then all over 2 times 1 then here we have x equals to minus times minus that's plus so we have 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square that's 1 then minus 4 times 1 times 19 give us 76 then all over 2 that is here we have x equals to 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 76 that's minus 75 n over 2 which is the same thing as x equals to 1 plus or minus square root of 25 times 3 times minus 1 over 2 and when we bring out root 25 that's 5 we have x now equals to 1 plus or minus 5 root 3 which minus 1 is i then over 2 also here we have two complex solutions therefore all together here we have six solutions in this problem two real solutions here two complex solutions here and two complex solutions here and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn the description bell share this video give a thumbs up and put your comments see you next class and bye for now